morning. Welcome back to the homestead. Well, today I think, I don't really have the agenda. I don't have my agenda. But I think what I'm going to get to is I'm going to start building walls. At least getting them all framed because I can frame them all and stack them up on the deck and then worry about siding them later. I don't know, we'll see. And it's a lot of hammering um, out of the short nails for the nail gun, so it's going to be all manual today. But that's okay, it's a little quieter when it's manual. No air compressor running, no gun going off, just hammers. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure glad you came to watch us. Let's get started with our day. All right, well, we're going to gather up the parts for the windows. There's three windows in, on one wall of this cottage, and you build the frames first. Then when you build the wall, you inset those already pre-done into the wall framing. Um, interestingly, I was going through the instructions, and one thing I had forgotten is that they uh, want you to build the rafters first, because they want you to use the floor unrestricted as a jig for setting up the rafters. I'm not going to do that um, because we can build the rafters later besides that that material happens to be kind of buried right now but all the framing for the walls and windows and that kind of stuff is uh, should be accessible. So I'm going to gather what I need up to build those three window frames. We'll see how I'm doing after that. I've had a, a problem with my legs cramping up. It started last night and it's still kind of affecting me this morning so let's get on these three window frames and see how it is and everything is good then maybe we'll build some walls or maybe we'll move on to putting up chicken wire or something for the cat Avery I don't know something anyway for the moment though we're gonna build those three window frames so I need to gather those materials up So the reason I pulled those nails out and put them back in is unlike almost everything else um, that you measure when you're doing construction, usually measured and you put the studs and the cross beams in the center of the stud. This particular one had you measure from the bottom up and the marks were at the bottom of each cross brace. I forgot that. So I sunk, preset the nails where they would be in the center. So I had to pull them out and move them over, what, three quarters of an inch, so they would end up in the center of the cross beams. That's what all that was. The next two should go a lot faster. Well, some faster anyway.
Okay, that's the three window frames. It goes on the eave side of the wall, just like the other cottage over there. I'll show you. We're expecting a really large storm coming in off the uh, the Gulf of Mexico. It should be coming in tonight, uh, early tomorrow morning, one o'clock or so tomorrow morning, and it's going to hit and pretty much rain all day and Tuesday. So a couple inches of rain on Tuesday, a couple inches tomorrow maybe. We'll see. So I'm not going to continue with the wall. Uh, the reason for that is I don't really have any place to put it. To keep it dry I need to cover this floor to make sure it stays dry and the last time we covered it with a bunch of stuff on it we ended up with big pools of water in the tarps because the tarps sagged so I'm going to move on to something else as far as uh, chores go today for the moment I'm going to take those three window frames that I built I'll put them in one of the other cottages uh, probably the one just like it just lay them on the floor inside that way I know they won't get wet and then I will cover up this floor and make sure that everything out there is covered up as well. And then I will move on to a different chore. So at the moment though, I need to go get some water before I do all that stuff. Okay, everything's covered that needs to be covered. Now I think I'm gonna go uh, help Brenda with a chore. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. God bless you. We'll see you next time on the homestead. Bye now. <laughs>